Good evening, culinary two kids. So tonight I am going to show you how to make a salad dressing, an emulsification, which is going to help you in this current assignment you're working on. So this is just one of the three parts you're going to do. Um, so this is just one recipe that um, we uh, we kind of show. I showed you a video in class from Tyler Florence. He showed how to make this. So I'm going to do my interpretation of his little recipe. So um, here we got our ingredients. Um, I got a very neutral flavored oil, canola oil. You can use vegetable oil, whatever you want. Don't recommend um, extra virgin olive oil, so stay away from that. It's got a little bit too strong of a flavor. I got two different kinds of red wine. I got red wine vinegar, white wine vinegar. I think we're gonna try the white wine vinegar today. We got our binding ingredient, mustard. Uh, I like the whole grain mustard. Crème fraîche, you don't have to have it, but if you don't have this, you could use sour cream as an alternative. Um, Whole fat, try to use the non-fat non -fat if you have it, and a little bit of lemon to give it a little bit of tang. Um, behind me is the ingredients to make my salad. Um, also, we have some salt and pepper, which we're going to use to spice it up a little bit. You can use whatever you like. So let's bring those out here. We've got our spring mix. This is going to be the base of our salad. Okay. Um, we've got feta cheese, cucumber, avocado and we've got sliced Italian tomatoes, some croutons, and then we've got some other salad dressings here that, that I brought out that just kind of show that um, by default, these things, here's two different brands I like, Brianna's and Ken's Steakhouse. So really good. They already have the emulsification ingredients if you look at them at the market. Now some of them are more than others. So sometimes you have to shake them up. When you do that, they become a little bit more blended. So some of them have a little more than others. This one here is, I got, um, I think this has got a little mustard in it, if I remember correctly, so that's going to allow it to bind the two ingredients of the oils and vinegars or whatever kind of acid you're using into your salad dressing. So today, I'm going to just put in, you put in about three parts of your oil to the one part of your vinegar. So I'm just going to put in a small amount here. I think I'm going to take a little measure. I'm just going to put a little bit in here. Need a lot, and a little bit of oil, and you could do like maybe you know, a couple of table, table, three tablespoons. I'm just going to measure three tablespoons of oil. Of oil. Okay. Again, you could use the white vinegar, you could use the red wine vinegar, whichever is your personal preference. Then I'm going to take some mustard, some whole grain mustard. Don't use the yellow mustard. Use some kind of like something like this. A little bit better for this kind of thing. So just a little dollop of it. That is what's going to bind the ingredients together. And then, and I might put in some of the crumb fresh. Right now I'm just going to do these ingredients just to see how this works by itself. And just a small squeeze of lemon. Oops. I've got a seed in there, so let's take a seed out. And then I'm going to seal it, so make sure whatever container you have is very tight fitting. And just mix it. See, what's going to do is it's going to start blending the two ingredients and binding them together. Okay, mason jar would be the best thing to use. In absence of a mason jar, I'm using this. So let's try it and let's see how this is. And that's pretty darn good. So, put a little salt and pepper in there. Salt. Tiny bit of mustard, kind of like a little tiny bit. Just a little bit. It'll add a little creaminess to it too. Seal it back up. Make sure it's sealed properly. Shake it again. And let's taste it again. That's 
pretty darn good. Okay, so we have our salads. You could do it in larger quantities than that if you choose to do so. Move these out of the way. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to bring the salad out. And I'm just gonna start topping the salad with different things I like. So this is really a personal preference, what you like. Uh, put some feta cheese on it, because I love it. It's a little tangy. I'll put some of my diced cucumber on it. Gives you a little bit of a crunch. And whatever you like on the salad. Some Italian tomatoes. For color and snap and delicious flavor. Okay. A little avocado on it too. Okay, on top. Okay. And then what else are we gonna put on? Put some croutons on it. A little crunch. soaking my salad and salad dressing. I just like a little bit on it. And there we go. That is emulsification of a salad dressing. Real quick and easy to make. This is just my interpretation of it. There is a video I watched again from Tyler Florence that shows this technique. So you can use his. Or there's many other ones you can do. Or in this assignment, you could do things like a mayonnaise, which I'll show you later, um, or any other number of things. But basically using something like egg yolk, or you're gonna use mustard and or honey, something like that to bind the oils and the vinegars or whatever kind of acid you're using in your salad together. So thank you for coming. Hope you enjoyed this. Hopefully you learned something new and uh, have a nice evening. Bye.